Hi, it's the Quarter Mill Radio Live with Barzini and Box and I. I wanted to talk about Nathaniel Gallimore versus Julian Williams under the undercard of Laura and her, man. April 7th, it's official. Gallimore has been talking shit left and right about J-Rock, saying them dudes build them up and they got eat. They all fall bums in their whole career. And he, <laughs> Nathaniel Gallimore is saying, where you want to land, J-Rock? Where you want to land? Where you want to land on your face, your back, your side, <laughs> your right, your left side, your right side? Where do you want to land? Man, Galmore is selling this fucking fight, bro. Um, J-Rock, you know, you know I'm Jamaican. You know Philly's hometown. This is Philly versus J-A, bro, like. Oh my God, my two homes fighting each other, man! I'm, I'm so excited for this fight. So excited! This card is looking like really spectacular right now. I really don't know who's gonna win this fight. To me, right now, it's a fifty-fifty fight. But Galmore is selling this fight really huge. I love J Rock. You know what I mean? He's he's been winning. I think he should have took these kind of fights before he fought um for the title. But I believed in him. I thought he could do it. He ended up he came up short. But now he's fighting contenders now. And I'm glad to see him fighting contenders. And I'm gonna be pretty interested to see who's gonna win this fight. What's your take on it? Oh man, it's a good one. It's like, uh, yeah, what is it? Is it gonna be on uh, what channel? They got a date and like Showtime. TV Showtime. Now? Showtime. It's on the under on the undercard. Um, yeah. I heard of really? Laura. Word, man. Yeah, man. One fifty four. Um, it's a make it or break it type of fight, man. Like these guys. Like, you don't get too many chances. Like, whoever wins this fight is going to get another shot at some point. You know, you, 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 would, ex- you would think that because um, it's, it's, these guys are scrappy, man. And I'm talking about scrappy in the way of, like, trying to get that, that shot at 154. Like, if J-Rock, he can't afford to lose, you'd have to say, you know what I mean? And he becomes like a Tony Harrison. I think, but let's be honest, bro. J Rock, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? He's a wounded animal. And there's no doubt about it. You know, um, he's still licking his wounds from the Jamal fight. You know, I said it about James DeGale. He was a wounded animal after the Badu Jack fight. I mean, when you see a wounded animal, you know, you're going to pounce. And that's what Gallimore, I think he sees that that in J-Rock. He sees someone, you know, and he was very vulnerable. The way he fought Ishe Smith, and listen, Ishe Smith is a very tough fucking fighter. You know, even in it, he's a little older, though. But I would think J-Rock should have, if, if J-Rock wasn't as wounded as I thought, I thought he could have done better against Ishe Smith. And it was a very entertaining fight. Two Warriors, really competitive. But I'm just saying, from what I see, I can't pick J-Rock at that. I can't pick him. I can't. I think he has to fight. I think, to me, J-Rock is going to have to fight a perfect fight. It's sad to say, to win this fight, he's got to go to he's got to, He's got to have the best training camp of his life. He's got to have a good game plan. Gallimore hits hard. You know, Gallimore, um, who's the dude? Gallimore halted that train of, uh, what's that dude? He had a couple hot wins, too. He was another prospect. Who did Gallimore just beat? What the fuck was um, Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, the guy's trying to make a name for himself, the guy Gallimore. 
Gallimore derailed that shit quick. The Jamaican, the axe. But I, I got, I'm not picking J Rock, bro. I can't pick J Rock. Got up there, you know. I picked J Rock to lose against Jamal. I said he wasn't ready. I said you're in, you're not fighting the competition. You know what I'm saying? You're being mismanaged. You know, you guys are all under the Al Heyman, but you're being set up as food. I said that. And what, what? He got ate up. Food. And then Ishe Smith just showed me some more. Like, yo, J-Rock, I mean, you better be going to church every day, praying, eating your vitamins like Hulk Hogan used to, putting them eggs in the blender, straight raw eggs. I don't know, man. You know, I got faith in you, but I don't know. It's just maybe you don't got the pop at this, you know. If Gallimore don't feel your pop, he's going to walk right through J-Rock. He's going to he gonna dog him. And that's what I see, man. I'm picking Nathaniel Gallimore. So yeah. and he'll, be in, he'll be in line for a title shot maybe after that or, or, or at least a, a shot at a good name. You know, 154 is kind of dwindling down, you know what I mean? Whoever wins this, they're going to be looking at Hurd or Jermaine, uh, and, you know, the, you got the other side.